EA Sports presents NHL Hockey 96. All right. Here we are again. EA Sports, NHL 96. We're in the exhibition road mode and um, the all-star level. And we're doing, we're still doing our revenge series. And this one is a little bit of a repeat because um, we're now into 1987, which was the next year that the Flyers made the finals. And once again, it was against the Edmonton Oilers. Um, so unfortunately, once again, the Flyers lose to the Oilers four games to three. Uh, this is Edmonton's, um, well, I guess not their, I'm not sure if this is their last cup win or not. Anyway, uh, game one, Oilers won four to two. Game two, they won three to two in overtime. Game three, they lost five to three. Game four, they won four to one. Game five, they lost four to three. Game six, they lost three to two. And in game seven, they finally won it three to one. And uh, the goalies were similar to the last time, except uh, at Ronnie Hextall in his rookie year um, in the net for the Flyers with Chico Resch as the backup. And for the Oilers, it was the same pairing of Grant Fuhr and Andy Moak. The captains, Dave Poulin for the Flyers still, and uh, Wayne Gretzky for the Oilers, same. And the coaches were the same, Mike Keenan for the Flyers and Glenn Sather for the Oilers. And uh, the Hall of Famers, Flyers still only had one, Mark Howe, and the Oilers had seven players plus uh, Glenn Sather as the coach. So Grant Fuhr and um, would have been uh, Wayne Gretzky and Messier, a few others. So, good team. The MVP for the series in the losing effort was Ronnie Hextall, who uh, also won the Vezina. So we got the con Smythe for being the most valuable player in the playoffs in the final. But he lost to Luke Robitaille for the Calder as Rookie of the Year. But he won the Vezina, um, voted as the the best goaltender by the general managers, I think, was how that one went at the time. Um, of interesting note, this was the third straight year that Edmonton and Philadelphia had finished the regular season with the two best records. So um, the Flyers top in the East and the Oilers top in the West. Um, this was also the last season that the winning team would skate around with the cup. Um, the next year when Oilers, yeah, they must, they won it again. Yeah, their last cup was in 1990. What am I thinking? Anyway, um, the last, the next time they won the cup, everybody just posed in a group photo with the cup on the ice. And uh, that's kind of a tradition that's continued on uh, since then, so. Okay, but today we're looking to take the sting out of that 3-1 to one Game 7 loss um, by going back to Edmonton and seeing what we can do. Last game was 13-0 for the uh, 85 loss. Let's see what we can do about 87. Live from Edmonton, Alberta, we present the NHL preseason game between the Philadelphia Flyers and the Edmonton Oilers. So it is interesting that Ronnie Hextall will be the goaltender, even though it'll be against Ranford and uh, um, Brathwaite. So once again, not the owner team that uh, saw the Flyers in 87, but they don't care. They just want revenge against the brand. Tonight's goalies are Bill Ranford versus Ron Hextall. There you go. So, a little higher goals against Savage for Ranford. Ronnie Hextall, 289. Respectable. Here are the starting lineups for the two teams. It's the Legion of Doom versus Corson, Arnett, and Bookberger. And Peter Sobota and Dmitry Yuskevich against Krabchuk and Slager. Bring it on.
And all the Philadelphia fans that, that took the plane to Edmonton for this game, all the, the Edmonton fans are going, come on, give it up, let it go. Just let it go. Oh, that was very wide. Oh, Renberg picks it up, says, okay, who's getting out in front? Leclerc, but couldn't get it to him. Couldn't get it to him. Leclerc keeps it in, though. Oh, Eric, high and wide again. Savota picks it up, says, okay, I'm down over the line. John Leclerc wide of the net. This is, oh, and they're keeping the pressure on him. Oh, lovely pass to Eric, and he finally gets it in. Assisted by number 10, John LeClaire. Well, that was just pressure like you like you read about in Reader's Digest drama in real life. So you kids at home, you keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure. Only two shots there, but we got a goal because we kept the pressure on. Took the puck away, gave it, made the shot, did the thing. So let's uh, back this all the way up as far as we can. So about it. at this point, the puck has been... Retrieved a couple of times in the zone, but then Sabota gets it. He says, okay, who can we find out in front? He says, uh, where's that? Who's that? Who that? Gives it to John LeClaire, and John LeClaire shoots just wide. Um, a little. That was a fierce, fierce shot. Where does it go? Into the corner. Crabchuck picks it up. LeClaire keeps chasing. And he, uh, he hits it and takes. Oh, he doesn't knock Trapchuck down, though, but he circles away and can't catch John. Then John comes out. He's kind of hiding behind camera time, and camera time gets out of the way. And then he sees Eric going to the net. He says, oh, I got tripped. But Eric goes bar down on a big backhand or blockhand side. But Crabchuck dirty right in front of there, there and he could have been in his no arm. But it uh, didn't matter. They got the goal. Backhander... A uh, good hard shot. And uh, no shout out for you, uh, Mr. Uh, Bill Ranford. That's uh, one goal on two shots. 18.05 left in the first. Out to Renberg. Oh, they, they knocked Leclerc down. That's really nice. John LeClaire is just uh, saying, all right, all right. Oh, and then they knock it away, but he gets it back, and they knock it away, and he gets it back, and he gets knocked down. Eric says, all right. Oh, there's a chucker. Oh, no. Oh, see, Sabota put the pressure on. John LeClaire turns. Oh, he, Arnett picks it off. Now see, look who's got the pressure on. Look who's pressurizing. Over to Eric, and he's up the line. Oh, they tried to hook him. He says, all right, I'm coming back, Andrew. He gets over there and gets it. Oh, he's out in front. He goes back. Oh, nice save by uh, Radford on the, the old Philadelphia slide. But keep the pressure on. Kids at home, watch. Pressurizing. Pressurization like a uh, bicycle tire. Okay, coach. That's, uh, that's, that's good advice for the, the kids at home. Ooh, just offside. Eric says, I got the fever. All right, Eric. A couple of Advil, buddy. Oh, we try to go. Renberg back at her, shot it right at him. But he shuts it down. Hextall makes the save. And then he runs for the bench. That's not like Ronnie at all. Oh, 
Oh, more. Yeah, you gotta back him off there. Back him off, buddy. Oh, down he goes. Eric Lindros. He's he's thumped. Well, we better get the get a couple of steaming mugs of uh, Sleep Time Uppercut Tea there because uh, he got the sponsorship. Sleepy Time Uppercut Tea, helping you get the rest you need. All right, everybody, show what you got. Oh, okay. oh good save by Hextall, and then he takes the shot. Ah, he clears his own though. John LeClaire says, I know where this one's going. Says, I'm going out in front with the big shot. Oh, Renberg took it. Yeah, you did. You did something. You must have done something. Edmonton penalty to number 16, Kelly Bookberger. Two minutes for hooking. All right, Bridgewater, you got to take advantage of your advantage. Okay, coach. Oh, John LeClaire takes it. Brindamore with a big backhander. John LeClaire skating around. Hey, Bill, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing quite well, thank you, John. It's nice of you to ask. Off the legs. Off a leg, the old Russian player. Brindamore says, all right, let's get out in front. Oh, and then he gets taken down. Yuskevich waits. Oh, Yuskevich over the arm. Uh, boom. Oh, nice back check by Renberg. He's uh, having that shoulder problem though. He can't skate. Oh, that was a great save by uh, by Ranford. Yuskevich up the line. Back to Renberg. Uh, it's going a long way back to Renberg. He says, all right. All right. Oh, he tried to get it to Leclerc. Oh. All right, so that scrappy is uh, scrappy as scrap can be, and uh, it wasn't even good enough scrap to recycle. Oh, great save! Oh, Eric gets it. Oh, he's trying to fight his way into the zone. He says he's coming with. Oh, we tried to get through to Renberg. Oh, come on, Mr. Referee, sir, Mr. Camera Time Guy. You can't just let that kind of hacking go in there. That's not hockey. Oh, somebody with a swing and a miss. Sabota says, I go for it. I'm going for it. Oh, Renberg says, I got it. Oh, Renberg couldn't get the shot off. Leclerc with a backhander. By the time I was ready to take the shot with Renberg, he was in the blue. I don't think I would have counted, and I would have got a penalty. So I held off. But um, that's my story, anyways. Not a lot of quality chances. Side. 
Oh well. So far there hasn't been a great deal of revenging going on. Oh, there's a little bit of revenge. Another block aside. Block aside. So there's two goals on 13 shots. Five minutes left in the period. Eric picks it up. He gets out in front. He uh, centers up and says, where am I going to go? I'm going to go blocker side. And he challenges blocker, defeats blocker because Eric's the big slapper. Ladies and gentlemen, put your heads together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper. And he just went blocker side. And then second time blocker side, but not back at her. But this one was not as sweet as the bar down. Um, for the last one. But let's go and see what we got for the last five minutes of the first. Shot it right at him. Oh, he kept it in the zone. He's coming with. Oh, he tried the backhander. Hextall with a good save at the escape. Oh, Leclerc picks it up. Couldn't hang on to it, though. Hextall says, I'm taking the shot. Comes out to Eric, but it bounces right by. Hey, I'm just gave it. She says, oh. Hextall makes the save again, makes the pass. Clears the zone, Renberg gets it in. Eric with a big shot, but uh, nice save by Ramper. Puck's uh, bouncing a lot tonight. You got extra frozen or something. I don't know how that would work. Would it be extra bouncy because it's not frozen? Oh, Renberg with a very nice backhander, but uh, Ramford made a great save with the blocker. Lovely pass, lovely top end, blocker side shot. Assisted by number 23, Peter Svoboda. That's what you gotta do. All right then, so there's three goals on 18 shots. Uh, Oilers have 12 shots, no goals yet. And uh, Svoboda, Svoboda picks this up and says, all right, get towards the last uh, minute and a half here. He says, all right, I'm going to pause. Where's Eric? Oh, Eric hits the brakes. Looks like he's getting out of the uh, slot, but he stays. No, I'm making the turn. And then he says, all right, I'm going to challenge Blocker's side. He defeats Blocker because Eric's the big slapper. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper. And he just went Blocker's side again. <laughs> so there's the hat trick for Eric. And... Uh, we're uh, into the 133 left in the first. Oh, it was wide open and he missed. That was terrible. One minute left. Rembert couldn't pick it up. Slager gets it. Oh, Yuskevich takes it away, and then he takes the shot. 0.7 seconds left in the period. Oh, Eric, that was a terrible miss.
After the first period, the score is Edmonton 0, Philadelphia 3. So really that should have been 5 because I messed up with Renberg right in front of the net. Didn't get the shot off before he was in the blue. And uh, just at the end there, Eric had a wide open net and I shot it wide with the talented fellow that I am. But 3-0 uh, is still a solid lead after the first period. If we could get one more before they get one, now uh, we'll chase Ranford out of the net and bring Freddie Brathwaite in. But uh, we won't count our chickens before they hatch. we got work to do. But we are skating downhill this period. Good hit, good hack, good hockey. Everybody chase it. All the way back to Hextall. They try to go to Leclerc. Here comes. Oh, good save by Hextall, though. Renberg picks it up and says, All right, I'm up into the zone. Oh, that was very nice defense. Oh, John Leclerc with a tricky little backhander. Oh, Leclerc gets it back close and just beats him. Beats him like a rented mule. Oh, once again. John Leclerc chasing. Oh, he gets it. Picks it up. Out. Across the way. Eric picks it back up. He's trying to get it out. Oh, that's a nice little snipe. Another block area. Block his side. Assisted by number 10, John LeClaire. Well, there goes uh, Billy Ranford for the cold towel on the back of the deck. Eric's just just decimating that blocker side. Poor, uh, poor Ranford. He picks this one up. He gets out in front. Defense kind of porous. Just slides in between. Who's that? It's Slager and Arnett. And then he gets his chance. He says, well, blocker. So I'd read about it in the scouting report, and it appeared to be true on the first three goals. So why not? Defeats the blocker side because Eric's the big slapper. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper. And he just went blocker side again. So there we go. We got Fred Bradway coming into the game. That's four goals on 20 shots. 16.48 left in the second period. And we're just, just give a listen to the grumble. The grumble sauce that's going on there. Oh, Eric turns. Oh, he's getting out in front. He's gonna, oh, he, he went hide wide. Oh, Renberg overshot it. Here comes Leclerc. He says, I want to snipe. I want to snipe. Oh, he tried to. Good hit by Renberg. Oh, Eric. Oh, he gets out in front. Welcome to the party, Brathwaite. Welcome to the party. Oh, coach, that's so good of you to welcome everybody in the thing. All right. So, that's uh, five goals on 22 shots. And uh, how did this all end up coming to fruition? So, it looks like the puck got knocked away or something because it wasn't moving very fast when it went past Brathwaite in front of the crease. I don't think it was a save. Renberg says, okay, I'm going to turn you into the corner. Says, I can't get it out to John LeClaire. There's no line anymore. Brathwaite's going to take it away. Out to Eric. He takes the shot. It hits Slager. Doesn't get to Brathwaite. Then Krabchuk gets it. And uh, what happens here? Eric takes it away. Just takes it away. And then he skates out in front. 
Does uh, Brathwaite try the block? No, he doesn't even get around to trying the poke check. Eric just scoots across, beats that glove hand side with the little uh, snapshot, and uh, there you go. That's 5 nothing on 22 shots, 15.01 left in the second. Picks it up. Thought Leclerc was going to get it. Oh, just offside. Skavage coming back. Oh, Sabota back there, and then Hextall made a nice save. John Leclerc trying to get it. Oh, great save by Hextall. And then he takes the shot. He takes the shot. And Leclerc shuts it down. Tried to get it to John Leclerc. Good shot. Eric's chasing Krabchuk. He steals it. He says, okay, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Through a crowd. Oh, good save by Brathwaite. Through the legs of the defender. Keep the pressure on though, gotta keep the pressure on. Good save. So uh, last game I neglected to do the player stats and the game stats. I hit the button and there's no second chances once you get back to that main screen. So that's all that she wrote. Renberg, Renberg, just going wild. Thought I'd, I'd get it. I got the fever. Okay, Michaela, it's fine. You take the shot, buddy. Oh, John Leclerc lost the puck. Then they shut it down. Good pressure. There's the backhander. Give him all day for the backhander. He'll do it. A little bit of a dipsy doodle, a couple of pauses, and then he found his spot, and then he just went there and he looted up the spring. Let's have a look, but uh, I think we know how it happened. I reverse the angle and then back it up a touch. All right, then. So Eric loses the face off, but knocks down. Is it. Uh, is it Corson? Arnett. That's right. He's the center. Anyway, they, he, Kravchuk can't hang on to it. So Eric says, okay, I'm spinning. I'm going to get some uh, space. See where everybody's going. Kravchuk went down low and then came up. Eric says, oh, oh, he's giving me my spot. And he just ducks right between Corson and Kravchuk. And then he starts heading, pauses a little bit. And then a big push. Loads up the spring, goes blocker side, top corner. Beautiful backhander. And that's 6 nothing on 28 shots. 10-11 left in the second. John Leclerc up into the zone. Over to Eric. Oh, he tries the backhander, but he can't get there. Renberg. Oh, Renberg tried to very close feed. Iskavich gets back, though. Oh, and then it's offside. Good pressure. Good back check. Good stuff. Oh, 
Oh, he tried the little snapshot. Oh, it comes to Hextall. He says, no problem over to John LeClaire, up the line. Good shot. Was that Renberg? It was indeed Renberg. Eric picks it up, tries to come back into the zone. Does the old spinorama out in front. And then he, this is glove hand side. All right then. Back it up. So Eric picks it up outside of the zone, comes in, starts to look around, says, where's everybody doing? What's it going? He's getting down at the corner of the circle. Makes the turn to say, okay, let's get some space. Oh, there's lots of space. I'm going out in front. We've got uh, Slager there and Crabcheck. They're going in the net, but uh, I guess that's where the ice cream truck's coming. I don't know. And then Eric says, all right, challenging. And everybody thinks blocker side, but no, he challenges Glove. And defeats Glove because Eric's the big slapper. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper. And he just went glove head side. <laughs> Lovely. So 7 nothing on 31 shots. 7.35 left in the second. Renberg gets it. He says, I'm getting it in his own. Oh, good little poke check. Oh, good hard shoulder check. Oh, another good one. It's offside, but uh, take the uh, shut it down. Just shut him down. Eric says, I'm going to get the puck. I'm coming back. I'm turning. I'm going. I'm up in front. Oh, he shot it right down him. Ooh, that's a big elbow. Edmonton penalty to number 16, Kelly Bookworker. Two minutes for roughing. Johnny, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right, Eric. Just a bit of roughing. I can take it. Get the goal, Eric. Get the goal. Up to Randberg. Oh, big bounce and rebound. Eric takes it away. Says, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, big point blank shot. John LeClaire scoops and scoots. There you go. Just after the power play ended, Eric snipes glove hand side. Assisted by number 10, John LeClaire. All right then. So there's Eric's eighth, the goal of the game. 35 shots. And uh, we back it up, back it up. John LeClaire. Bringing it into the zone. He says, I, I got the fever, Eric. I got the fever. I need to snipe. He said, go, John, go. He makes the turn, but uh, who's that? Who picks it off? Arnett takes it away, but it comes right to Eric. And Eric says, all right. I'm just getting ready right in my little office here. He says, I'm going to challenge Glove. He defeats Glove because... Eric's the big slapper! Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper! He just went glove hand side again. So, nice goal. 8 0, 347 left in the second.
Oh, Sabota cleans it up, but he loses it. Oh, comes back to Hextall, and he's out with it. Says, you give it to Renberg. Sabota picks it up and says, I'm going up the zone, up the line. Oh, good steal by Corson. Renberg has it, but he's offside. Oh, he tried the big snipe. He's going block aside. He did sit. All right, camera time. Just bring the puck, okay? Ooh, there's a classic. Well, Eric's into his third uh, yep, trick of the night on a classic. I think we all know how these happen. So, Brathwaite hangs on to the puck. Eric cleanly wins the faceoff and starts heading to his strong side right in the middle. Who goes down to block it? Kravchuk. Look at the hero. He'll get a biscuit after the game with a big H on it. But uh, Eric says, no, I'm challenging Glovehand side. He defeats Glovehand side because... Eric's the big slapper! Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for number 88, Eric Lindros of the Philadelphia Flyers. He's the big slapper! And he just went glove hand side again. So there we are. We're up to 9 0, 37 shots, 155 left in the second. Tardy glove, tardy blocker. trying to get a hold of that but he couldn't do it all right got to keep the pressure on gonna get back in the attacking zone oh Eric's gone he's gone he's gone he's... But he's... oh nice save and then they almost skated it into the net for poor Fred Brathwaite he made a great glove hand save and he had to save it again from his defenseman I mean, the what do you think? One minute left in the second period. Oh, good shot. John LeClaire's coming down to shut that down. 12 seconds left. Is there time for another classic? Well... Probably not, but one can dream. Ooh, Renberg says I'm taking the shot. After the second period, the score is Edmonton 0, Philadelphia 9. So, Philadelphia put the foot down, had three goals in the first, six goals in the second. Oilers haven't scored yet. They've had 21 shots. So, um, just under double the shots. But, uh, certainly a solid lead. A game, more than solid. I don't think they have to worry about losing the game. But, uh, they'd like to get back to that 13 goal mark they got the last game. And they wouldn't mind a shutout. But, they got 20 minutes of work to do. And, uh, lots of things can happen. So, let's see where the third goes. Good hit, good hack, good hockey. Oh, somebody, who did, who did what? Edmonton penalty to number seven, Jason Harnett. Two minutes for hooking. All right, then. Zero for two so far in the power play. That's, uh, it's not the best result, but. Wang-a-lang, dang it! Dip it in, lip it in.
Offside again! Say what you want. Oh, back to Leclerc and out to Eric and then back to Brathwaite. They would high and wide, a lot of high and wide, a little, little wild thing. Well, that's one way to fight off a power play. Alright, Eric, you gotta take advantage of the 4 up 4 and see what you can do the thing. Okay, cool. Hey, Jardin. John Leclerc with a big shot. Oh, John had to bring it out of the zone. Tried to bring it back in. Oh, it's a good hack. There's Eric with a big shot. They shot it right at him. All right, now the Flyers got to fight off a uh, bad advantage for uh, Oilers. All right, Eric, you got to steady the ship and get through and do the thing. Okay, coach. Ooh, forced him into it. Oh, John Leclerc, where are you going? Oh, good steal. Oh, Eric gets it. Oh, then somebody did it dirty. Somebody did it dirty. Eric lost the puck. Edmonton penalty to number 21, Igor Kravchuk. Two minutes for hooking. Well, the benches in the uh, penalty box aren't even getting cold now. People, somebody sits, stands up and somebody sits down. The uh, drink bottles are going to be empty. Oh, he couldn't get it out to Eric. Oh, here comes Slager. Oh, good save. What happened? Well, there we go. We'll nullify that power play. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, four on four. Okay, Eric, come on. You got to take advantage of your advantage. Okay, coach. Now it's three on four. All right, Eric, you got to steady the ship and get out there and do the thing. Okay, cool. Oh, Eric's escaping. Oh, good save. Ooh, you got your baited. Chut, 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 baited. Jason Barnett, two minutes for hooking. Ooh, that was almost five on three. <laughs> Just in time, Mr. Ardit. All right, Eric, you gotta get us do this to start to get the thing. Okay, coach. Oh, good hit, Eric. Hey, right, come on, he but there at the at the after the whistle doesn't count.
Up to Sabota, a lovely pass from Eric. And then he comes back with it. Picks it up. Oh, he lost it though. Amtiskevich picking it up. He says, all right. We got a brief power play here. Oh, great. Shot it right out of it. Good save. No rebound. Brathwaite hung on. All right, thanks. I might have to replace the benches in the cradle box. Cause just, just stand straight. People going in there, rub bums on it. Up to Renberg, up to Ren. Oh, and he's through. Couldn't do it. Brathway took it away. There was no line to Leclerc, no line to Eric. Brathway took it away. Good save. Eric took it, said, where's John Leclerc? Oh, there we go. That bobbled around and John tucked it in. John Leclerc. All right then, so there's double digits. John Leclerc's first goal of the game. Actually, the first goal by anybody but Eric. All right, back it up, back it up. So Eric gets it into the zone. But he says, well, you know, it doesn't look like I could swing around, but I'm going to, I'm just going to head towards the net a little bit. So right out in front, I can always try the backhander tight, but I'm going to see if John's out there. He says, all right, let it go. John Leclerc, big backhander, but off the post and off breath weight. And then John Leclerc picks it up again and tucks it in the corner. Beautiful play. Lovely goal, and uh, that makes it 10 nothing on 48 shots. 10-18 left in the third. Up to John Leclerc. Oh, great save by Brathwaite on the backhander. Nice job. Well, thank you, Eric. That's very kind of you to say. Even though we're down 10 goals, we still have our dignity. We'll still play hard. Yes. Yes, you will. Oh, somebody's a chucker from almost halfway up the rink. Oh, tried to get to Renberg. Offside, cheater hits. Ooh, somebody was in offside. Was that John Leclerc? Sorry. It's okay, John. Like the passion, love the energy. Oh, Renberg. Oh, Renberg. The old Renberg boy. Out to John Leclerc, and he's up the line. Oh, Yuskevich gets it. He picks it up, says he's coming with. Oh, that was dirty. Out to Sabota for the big shot. Rebound comes oddly back to the net. Kind of a strange. Oh, you scavich. Oh, you scavich. Out to Renberg, big shot. Oh, you scavich keeps it in the zone. Oh, there wasn't anybody over there. John Leclerc makes a hit, though. Skavich brings it back in. 
Oh, good shot. Sabota says, all right. Oh, I took it away. I take it away. Yuskevich with a big shot. Sabota picks it up. Says, all right, I'm back in the room. He loses it, but he gets it back. Gets it back. Oh, Eric couldn't do it. Sabota gets it back. Fights it in. Oh, Eric gets it back. Skavich says, okay, I'm coming over. I'll help out. I'll help out. I'll do something. John Leclerc to keep the pressure on. Renberg shuts it down. Well, hard work and uh, hard work and squad, but uh, not getting a lot for their effort right now. Ooh, Eric. Ooh, Eric. Oh, nice fight for the puck there. John Leclerc up the line. Oh, big backhander, but Brathwaite with the glove. Good job. All right, keep pressure on. Renberg. Tough guy, eh? All right, so Renberg will spend the most of the rest of the period in the game in the uh, penalty box, but, well, unless Edmonton scores, of course, because they could do that, too. John Leclerc with a big back check. One minute left in the third period. And then Eric coming in, takes the big backhander on the long pass from John Leclerc. Got one minute left. Oh, Eric says, I'm up the line. Oh, good steal. Oh, good save. The final score is Philadelphia 10, Edmonton 0. Well, the Boo Birds were out there at the end. They didn't like the two shutouts in a row they just saw against Philadelphia. Revenging the 1987 Stanley Cup Final loss. Four games to three. Came into their rink and they shut them out again. Ten nothing. Double digits and the shutout. Here are the three stars of tonight's game. So there you go. Back in 87, it was uh, Ronnie Hextall's rookie year. He won the uh, Vezina. He won the um, Conn Smythe in the Stanley Cup Final, and uh, he was second in the Calder. So he gets first star tonight for the shutout. You get Eric Lindros second star with uh, somewhere around nine goals, and John Leclerc with a goal. So let's have a look at the player stats. And what about the Edmonton players? That's a big fat nothing. What about the goalies? So Fred Brathwaite played a little more than half the game. Bill Ranford played a little less. Pardon me. 9.77 goals against average for Fred Brathwaite. 10.35 for Bill Ranford. Bill Ranford gave up four goals on 20 shots for 800. So not great effort as a starter. And he takes the loss. Fred Brathwaite came in and gave up six goals on 38 shots for 843. So a little more respectable in the backup role, but um, certainly didn't slap on too big a bandage. Then Ron Hextall 
no goals at all on 29 shots. So that was a lot more shots than I thought he got. But I guess they did have over 20 by the end of the second period. So 29 shots, no goals. Great game. And we had Eric Lindros with nine goals, zero assists for nine points. I don't think there were any power play goals or shorthanded goals. One goal and three assists for four points for John LeClaire, and one assist for Peter Sabota. So Eric did a lot of solo stuff in this game and uh, likes to uh, lead the team. So that was good. What about the, the game stats? Edmonton zero, Philadelphia 10. 29 shots to 58, so exactly double the shots. 0% shooting, perfect shooting for the Oilers. And 17.2% uh, shooting for the Philadelphia Flyers. They had uh, zero goals on five power play opportunities. Eight minutes of power play time and only six shots. Not great. Zero for three on for the Oilers. Four and a half minutes of power play time. Zero shots. So keeping them away from the net on the power play, that's good. Um, small advantage, five extra face-off wins for the Oilers, but uh, that was, certainly wasn't the biggest part of the game for either team. Although Eric did score at least one classic. I think he, he put uh, Bill Ramford out of the game on a classic, maybe? But, or he welcomed Fred Braffin, one of them. 83 body checks to 54, so good advantage on body checks. 32 minutes in the attack and zone to 13. So 19 extra minutes of attack zone time. 55% passing to 65. Coach, what do you think? Well, come on. I know we got 10 goals in a shutout, but 55% uh, passing. They weren't hitting this very hard. They must have been talking and picking him like mad fury. But once again, we were making hits and separating them from the puck. And we had... Uh, you know, almost 20 minutes in the, of extra time in the attacking zone. So uh, that gave us plenty of time to put the puck on the net, put the puck in the net, score the goals, and win the game. We'll work on the passing, but we broke them up too. They only had 65. So I say good defensive effort, good offensive effort, and uh, kudos to Ronnie Hextall for keeping them all out. Well, thanks, Coach. That's uh, praise spread around the whole team, and sure they'll be happy to hear that in the locker room later and they're uh, gonna celebrate taking the sting out of that 87 uh, Stanley Cup loss in game seven so that's a good thing too the fans at home they'll be uh, they'll be cheering that so there are your stars again Ronnie Hextall your first star with the shutout Eric Lindros with nine goals and John LeClaire with one goal good game Okay, so there you go. They uh, they took the sting out of that loss. I'm sure they would have wanted to have the cup. They already had two um, for back-to-back -back wins in 74 and 75. But uh, they've still got, unfortunately, two more to go in this revenge series. They lost to Detroit in 96. So we'll do that next. And they lost to Chicago in 2010. So until then, let's keep our heads up sticks on the ice watch for the pass we'll catch you here next time thanks for stopping by